heavy. What's up, guys? This is LL77. I just come back, you know me, um, native aboriginal, Mi'kmaq tribe. I was out hunting, hunting and gathering. Yes, I was. See, my English isn't perfect, you know. Yes, I was. Cancer sticks, I don't know why I smoke these things. Anyway, went out hunting to get a friggin' good sized buck, a deer. Maybe a moose. But me, no. That's not good enough for me. I went and killed the bear last night, bare hands. No gun, nothing. Just me and a little pocket knife. Fought the guy, holy man, try scratching me, but I have it covered. Scratched me with his hands. So I got the bear meat right here, guys. I cleaned it, gutted it, and I packed it up and checked it in the freezer. And it says right on there, bear meat. And I'm just covering uh, whereabouts I got it. Because you don't need to know. Good old bear meat. I think my lady knows how to cook bear meat perfectly. Ah, yes. Bear meat. I think you just put it in the toaster for 18 minutes. And you'll have a wild, ugh, real strong, and give you a headache a little bit. But the flavor's like, <sighs> thanks, Jane, for holding that bear down. We got him. And I punched him right in the mouth. Knocked him out. Me and my cousin Jane, we fought that bear. Look, I froze him. We got such a deadly freezer, it only took 14 minutes. Freeze him. But I took a little bit to hammer it down to make it smooth like this. But bear meat. It's not good frozen. You know what? If I eat it frozen, I'll get brain freeze. Bear meat for champions. You guys all take care. I'm going to go celebrate at the Hampton tonight. Oh, yes, I is. You all have a wonderful day. You know what? Ooh, still growing. Yeah, I'll take care. As, as long as it doesn't growl in my stomach. Holy smackeronies. Y'all yeah, take care. Bear hunter here. Bear hunter gatherer. Yes, I am. <laughs>